The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman, Coach Dave Franklin, I'm Michael Watching for the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman falls in four sets to Anderson. Coach, I know it's a, a frustrating overall night in terms of the result, but you did a good job against a team that's typically really good offensively. They've hit over 250 in half their matches this year. You hold them to 176, respectable number from their perspective. Again, you win that battle at least seemingly at the top of the tape. Uh, what kind of positives will you take away from what you did at the top of the tape? Um, our defense and our blocking has given us a chance to win the match. Mm -hmm. um, they're making it tough on tough offensive teams. Um, we just need to do it a little bit more often. Um, I think what's helping create these situations is we do serve tough. Unfortunately, right now, we don't serve it inbounds enough. We miss way too much and bleed way too many points from the service line. Uh, we're serving in at 84%. The goal is 92%. Um, so the ones that are in are making it tough, which allows our blocking to make it really difficult on them, which the blockers are doing awesome. They really are. Um, and then the back row is getting through balls, digging balls, giving us chances to swing, um, which is awesome, which is awesome. But we're going to uh, have to step up our execution consistency. Um, just look at the stat sheet. We had 27 hitting errors, 15 service errors, and four blocking errors. That's 46 points. They didn't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's a lot of that's just on us. We're doing our job to give ourselves chances. Um, and then somehow we find a way to shoot ourselves in the foot. Uh, that fourth set, we had, I think, four straight miss serves, uh, something around there. And so it just makes it really difficult on you. So if we can start to serve in that tough at the rate that we need to, Good things are going to happen for the squad. They, they defend well, like you're talking about. They block well. They defend well. We just got to serve it inbounds and hit it inbounds more often. That being said, third set, you're down by seven points early. It seems like uh, you're out of it. It's a sweep. You're ready to head home. But you're able to make a big push. Then you face three match points, still able to make a push. What kind of positives do you take away from that? These kids have heart, and they compete. That is, Since I showed up here, that is a culture that the coaches before me had built. And it has sustained itself. Our kids will not stop. Even last year, through a rough year, they just kept competing. It is not a lack of working hard or competing or playing to the last point for us. We just don't execute at the levels that the game demands yet. We are working towards it. Those kids are dedicated to this. They got to take a little more personal responsibility, but I have no doubts that they will. Um, and we will learn to play the game and, to, and, and within the standards we need to to win at this level. And so know this, the Eagles are working their tails off. The Eagles are committed to building it. And, and it's been, it is proud as a coach to see your kids compete that way. So as frustrated as we get with them, we're so proud of the competitive level that they have and that they'll come back swinging the next day. So lots of positives. We just got to learn to execute at a higher level. One player I want to single out, Emily harnish -Feger. She had just one attack mistake tonight. She had 10 kills, career high, nine digs. You put the libero jersey on her tonight in the, in the second set. She pretty much handled every situation with aplomb tonight. How is this a growing experience for her? Hopefully an amazing one. Um, I, she was able to just take whatever role we gave her um, and tried to help the team win. And that's just Emily as a person. Um, she is a competitive kid that whatever the team asks of her, that's what she's going to give to the best of her ability that night. So she was big for us tonight and did, did a lot of positive things and um, has a very bright future. You get Francis Marion tomorrow. It's a non-conference match, not to say that it's any less important than the other ones, but what do you try to take out of tomorrow's match to try to get some of these things corrected? Did we get better? Mm -hmm. um, did we make adjustments? Did we come in and understand what broke down mechanically tonight to cause the errors? Can we fix those in a short amount of time? Um, that's part of winning at this level and having a short-term memory. Uh, so there's, we're going to push them. They're going to push themselves. They want to win. They're, they're, like I said, they're a competitive bunch. So I, I think for us, can we make adjustments quickly um, that put us in a better position to win matches? Coach, appreciate the time. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. He's Dave Franklin. I'm Michael Watching, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.